my friends. It is Lori Key, the real P goddess of Los Angeles, California, and of Florida. So glad to have you here today. I am grateful that you've taken the time to spend some time with me on real estate education. Today, we are actually going to talk about inspections. Now, I always advise people to have their inspections. It is a must. Please don't think that you're going to skimp on money and save money by not doing a home inspection. I don't care what someone tells you. I don't care if someone gives you a previous report. You truly need to have your home inspection. It is critical. It's your test drive of your house. And it can range in the price of anywhere from $400 to $800 on a standard size house, anywhere from 1,200 to 1,500 square feet. And then of course it goes accordingly, according to the area that you live in and the square footage of the house. But now that I've said that to you, and most people say that to you, let's talk about what happens when you have those inspections and big ticket items come back and you don't know what to do. Uh, because a lot of the times people get very frightened from the reports that are given from the home inspectors. Remember that it is their job to make sure that they let you know everything that they find out about that house. Now, of course, they can't open up walls, but they do get into the crawl space. They do look up the chimney. They do get in the attic. They get on the roof. So they give you a pretty thorough inspection. Um, and also, if they also let you know if you have to have additional inspections, such as a sewer scope or an asbestos report or a mold report, a chimney report, a pool report. So are there many, many, many types of inspections? But what happens when some things on that report look scary and you don't know what to do? So let's talk about that today because Buying a house is like a roller coaster, man. You're going up, you're going down, you have emotions flying everywhere, you're scared, you're not scared, you're confident, you're happy, and you're like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? We're gonna take a deep breath. And we're gonna get to this together. So if you need to deal with some issues that are on your inspection, here are a few things that you can do to get that done. Now, first, before I start into this, I wanna tell you there are different types of markets. There is a seller's market, which gives the sellers majority of the power, and there's a buyer's market. As of today, March 17th, 2022, this is a seller's market. So some of these things you probably can get, maybe 50-50, some of them not so much, but there's always a workaround about what you can do if you find out things on your report that you don't like. So let's talk about number one, you can request repairs. So say like there is something on the report that needs to be done. Um, maybe an electrical panel needs to be updated. Maybe there is a slow drain. Maybe there is a leak in the under the sink. These are things that you can ask for. You can ask for anything. You can ask for anything, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get them. But why not ask? Because a closed mouth never gets fed. That's why. So you can ask the seller to repair those items by a licensed professional, and you'll do that with a request for repair form. You can outline what it was that you found in your report and also give them a copy of the items that your inspector found to negotiate on getting those items repaired. So that's number one. Number two, you can ask for a price reduction in the amount of the repairs on your home. Going with this strategy could get you the most at the closing table quicker because you don't have to deal with waiting for um, professionals to come in and fix things. Uh, so it won't slow your deal down. And since you're not waiting for those fixes, you can move forward fairly quickly. Um, and that is a way that you can ask, will you get it? I don't know, 50-50, just like request for repairs. You just never know. It all depends on the seller. Number three, you can request a closing credit at the closing table. Mm -hmm. So where that is, you can put the closing cost toward, you can put the repair cost toward your closing cost to help alleviate the fees. 
uh, that's going to be associated with your lending and your title insurance. And then you can opt to have those items repaired after the home is in your name and you have the keys and choose your own professional as well. That is the third way. And number four, if you just cannot get over the amount of repairs that are in that house and you don't feel like you want to move forward with the deal, as long as you're within your contract dates, did you hear me? As long as you are within your contract dates, you can get your earnest money back. So if you just can't come to a conclusion about the repairs and you're falling within your contract stipulations, you can close the deal, say, I need to back out because we can't come to terms on what we're going to do about these repairs and I'm not willing to take on all these costs. Then you can say, I am ready to back out. All of this is written. There is nothing ever verbal in real estate. Never take verbal. Um, because that opens up another can of worms. So those are four ways that you can get past inspection items on your inspection reports. I hope this has helped you short and sweet. I like to keep it short and sweet, short and sweet. But if you are interested in buying a home, I do have a wonderful free guide for you. So please make sure that you check the link that is be uh, below or above this recording and go ahead and download your free home buyer's guide. No obligation. But a smart buyer is an educated buyer and an educated buyer is a smart buyer. Learn all you can before you start the process. So who am I? I'm Laura Key. I am known as the Realty Goddess and I got you. I've been in this business since 2006. I was licensed in Colorado, California, and Florida. So I'm coast to coast and even in the middle. <laughs> I look forward to hearing from you. My contact information is on this video. So if you have any questions, regardless of wherever you are, give me a holler. Your girl is here to help. You have a great day and be blessed. Bye.